Hey guys, uh, this morning we're going to talk about some uh, uh, drum switches and the different types. And we're going to kind of categorize this in two different categories. One's going to be a, a three phase and the other's uh, just kind of a single phase. And there's different uh, switch gear arrangements on, uh, on drum switches. So you have to look at the, uh, uh, they, they call it a pole position. No, not a video game. A pole position uh, um, drum switch very carefully. Uh, the three phase ones are real simple and we'll just do that. We're going to do a, a, a forward and reverse. Um, drum switch and then they each one of them has six poles and the three phase is this is the simplest one I'm gonna do this in a different color let's uh, how about a nice purple in the forward run position um, these terminals are gonna close up in the reverse uh, position they're gonna close this way this way and this way so this is the simplest type um, <clears throat> this one you'd have your motor and your lines, so you'd have uh, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three here, and again to your motor. So all that does is in the forward run position, sends all three phases through. In the reverse position, it flips two and three and makes the motor run backwards. Really, really simple. Uh, where it gets tricky is when we get into single phase. And uh, <clears throat> this this diagram was sent to me by uh, uh, Chuck over at uh, Knoll Top Farms. And you can't use this type of position switch to uh, to flop around your uh, to flop around your single phase. So what you're looking for is forward and reverse. I'm going to draw them again. And these are these are very unique uh, the way these close up, and I'm going to do it again in purple how they uh, how these close up in the forward run position. These poles are closed like this. In the reverse position, these poles are closed like this. So you can see that's very unique, and um, the terminals look the same. You know, all our little black terminals here look the same. But if you look at the three-phase model, uh, we're closing up three phases individually. Um, on these, we're, we're, we're creating only two circuits in the forward and run position. So we've, we've closed uh, three poles, and in these, we're only closing up two poles. So the forward and reverse is very, very different. And when selecting a drum switch for, for power switching like this, uh, you need to be very careful of, of which type you get. Um, so for the single phase, you would be doing it um, um, like this. So let's uh, let's draw the motor in. Uh, in this particular case, um, let me find a, something to point with here. Um, in this particular case, um, we're going the the black, the number five BL, which I think is blue, uh, and then that's Y one, which is yellow number one. Uh, those get tied together in the clockwise, and then they stay tied together, black, five blue, yellow one, stay tied together for the uh, counterclockwise, or in metric measurements for you guys across the pond, that would be anti-clockwise. So uh, these are a constant. These don't, need to, these don't need to change. These don't need to go through the drum switch. So just hardwire those up, put them in a wire nut just the way they're showing. Now the only thing that gets flopped in our uh, clockwise run position, um, they've got white and blue six, and then red over here. Now what they flop is they leave the white connected, all they do is transfer the blue over to this other side. So this little blue number six wire gets flip-flopped. So it needs to run back, it needs to jump back and forth between uh, forward run and reverse run. Okay, so let's, uh, let's sketch that in real quick. Um, let's see, we're going to bring our, we're just going to call these uh, line one and line two. So we're going to bring uh, L1 here and L2 here. And then we're going to bring L1 here and L2 here. 
those remain a constant. Um, now, L1, we always want it on white, no matter what. So we, we go to here to L1, we see that this terminal is energized uh, with white on forward run, and here on L1, we see this terminal is still energized with white on L1. So we're gonna bring this out to uh, the WT, WT, which is represented right here, the WT. All right, uh, next up we're gonna wanna run uh, on line two, we want uh, the red energized um, in, let's see, in uh, forward run and reverse run. So we wanna find a terminal that is uh, a constant for that too. Um, so L2, we can find a terminal here and here that is uh, uh, red. So that's, that's designated by RD. That's designated by RD. So that's, that's, your, uh, that's where they're calling it out uh, here and here. Now we wanna flip the blue, but we want, we want our, this little number six blue, we want it on phase one in forward run, but we want it on phase two in reverse run. So on phase, uh, let's see, on forward, okay, this is good. Uh, so out of this uh, terminal here, we're gonna go to, uh, this is a BL6, okay. So we're gonna go BL6, and here we're gonna go BL6. Okay, so now in our forward run position, we're getting our blue on, on phase two. And in our uh, reverse run position, we're getting the BL6 on phase one. So we've, we've managed to reverse our, uh, our terminals. Okay, and uh, that is designated by the BL with a little square six and a BL with a little square six. So we have, uh, have flip-flopped the motor uh, with the drum switch. So I hope this is kind of clears it up, but there's two very distinct types of drum switches and this is the only type that works with single phase. All right guys, uh, Chuck, I wish you the best of luck getting your motor reversed. Um, make sure you buy the right drum switch, buddy. All right, thanks for watching guys.